Hey everybody, it's Megan McMillan. I'm here in Tuscaloosa, Alabama at Eat My Beats. Uh, we're here with our EMV Artist Series and we have Rob Redwine in today. Rob, we're so happy to have you here. Thanks for having me. Yeah, Appreciate thank it. you. He's here all the way from Fort Worth, Texas, and he is here to play Billy Sports Grill tonight for our Tips for Tuscaloosa charity event. And we're so thankful that you came to play that. It's great. We always raise a lot of money for local charities. And we have out-of-town songwriters, we have local songwriters, and it's really cool. A lot of cool relationships have form formed from that event, so we're happy to have you. Yeah, I'm excited to be there. Good. Yeah, and we were talking about our friend Hope Cassidy. Mm -hmm. and how you met Hope and how she brought you down to TIP. So let us know kind yeah. of how, how y'all met and how that got going. Yeah, there's a, uh, there's a local songwriter out of Fort Worth uh, named Deanna Wendelin. I've been friends with her for a long time. Um, she knows Hope from way back when, and uh, I met Hope through uh, Deanna, and Hope and I started writing some songs together for um, kind of uh, the crazy way of... Uh, the internet and through text message and everything else and uh, we had uh, some songs got picked up by a few bands like Penny Ray and some other bands and so uh, we just hit it off as kind of a songwriting duo there. And, that's uh, awesome. Been friends ever since. That's good. Mm -hmm. That's good. Those are the best kind if yeah. you ask me. <laughs> For sure. So what we were talking about was your new album, Red Wine and Roses, One Bullet Left. Mm -hmm. When did this album come out? When did you, when did you we, uh, we just put this one out uh, last month, actually. We had the CD release party in Fort Worth, and um, uh, it's been, uh, man, five or six months of uh, fighting the studios and all that stuff, trying to, <laughs> trying to get it out. So it's been, yeah. uh, it's always uh, worth it in the end, but it's, uh, it gets crazy in, you know, when you're in the studio for quite a while. For like sure. So. For sure. It'll make you insane. Mm -hmm. Even more insane than normal. Yeah. I'll say that. So tell me a little bit about the record and how it came about, and it there's a theme, mm -hmm. a running theme for the record. Tell me about that. Yeah, it's a lot of uh, people, some people that have reviewed it and uh, told us about it. It's real um, cinematic, if you will. There's a couple of songs based on some movies. Uh, the the uh, title track actually is a song based around this, this old Western kind of deal where there's a uh, uh, kind of a mob, a lynch mob kind of deal coming after this um, Billy the Kid type figure. And um, there's some other songs like Chicken Run that's based off of uh, one of my favorite scenes in Rebel Without a Cause and uh, uh, just, some, just some songs like that. Awesome. Mm -hmm. That's good. That's good stuff. Um, so tell me about your band, Red Wine and Roses. Tell me about the members of the band and instrumentation and stuff like that that we need. Yeah, um, I formed the band four or five years ago with um, Rebecca Joswick. Uh, she's a songwriter as well in Fort Worth, uh, plays a gorgeous piano and that really adds a dynamic to the band that we uh, we were seriously lacking before. Um, uh, also, Deontay Walford is our drummer. The, the three of us, Rebecca and I and Deontay, have been together for all of that time. Our uh, our new bassist, Matt, uh, Matt Lane, uh, is also a songwriter, and uh, he's with a band called Red Admirals. And um, he is... It's just been an amazing com uh, combination with all the four of us together. And, of course, uh, Seth Haney's on the uh, record as well, playing lead guitar. So it's, awesome. Uh, it's been great. That's good. So does everybody contribute to the writing of your material? Yeah, I basically come in to, you know, we'll have a rehearsal session or whatever, and um, I'll bring some songs to the table and let everybody just kind of... Um, freeform go with what they want to do. That's great. Um, they're all fantastic musicians and they really, um, really every time try to do something different every single time. It's uh, it's always a, a new adventure every song that we do. Awesome. It's good to find people like that that you can click with. Yeah, absolutely. And can work well with. Um, we all know about the not so great band dynamics also. Yeah. <laughs> it's hard to yeah. do. It's really hard. Um, so tell me a little bit, we were talking about genre earlier, which is kind of a touchy subject these <laughs> days, for me anyway, and for a lot of people I know, because mm -hmm. of the fact that um, things are becoming a little more compartmentalized, I think, and then also less compartmentalized, does yeah. that make sense? So tell me, what, how would you classify your music if you're trying to book somewhere, if you're trying to explain to somebody what kind of music you play? Yeah, me as a solo artist um, is very different than the band dynamic. Me as a solo artist, I'm more of a um, folk slash uh, Americana kind of, um, if you compare me to anybody, it's kind of like Hayes Carl or Todd Snyder or maybe even a Steve Earle uh, to an extent. Where And that part of it kind of flows over to the band-wise. We're much more of a southern rock Americana, a little more right. hard-hitting kind of deal. Um, 
we had an interview earlier with um, uh, the Bear Radio Station, and um, uh, Monk was actually wearing a Lucero shirt. Mm -hmm. It was it was cool for me because um, Lucero is one of my favorite bands. We're we're kind of down that alley as awesome. Lucero. Good company uh -huh. for sure. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so, what are you doing so far away from home right now? What's, what do you have coming up and what's going on for the rest of the year? Uh, tonight I'm uh, playing in Tuscaloosa at Tips for T Tuscaloosa with uh, Adam Hood, Hope Cassidy, um, several other names. I, uh, apologies for me for forgetting the names and everything else, but uh, Adam and Hope are the ones that I know. Mm -hmm. um, I hear it's just a stellar lineup all the way down the board. Um, and uh, tomorrow night in Nashville, and then Friday and Saturday, I will be in Gatlinburg for the Smoky Mountain Songwriter Festival. Awesome. And I hear that you're playing that as well. Yeah, I'm excited about that. Um, it's first time. Yeah, I'm, I'm excited about it too. It's yeah. it's really cool. I haven't been there in years and years, so it's just be cool to yeah know, be in the town, let alone actually play some songs. In there, for so. sure, for sure, it's always a great networking opportunity, you mm -hmm. know, for me. Um, so you're going to be at Dollywood on Saturday. I am. Uh -huh. awesome. I'll be at. Uh, uh, Dick's on Friday, which is like right in the middle of downtown mm -hmm. Gatlinburg somewhere. It's a cool so. place. Okay, cool. So, can we go? What's your website? Oh, we uh, www.robredwinemusic.com okay. uh, is my solo site. And when the band is on uh, Reverb Nation and Red Wine and Roses. Sweet. Mm -hmm. All right. Sounds good. So, you're going to play a song for us today? Absolutely. Yeah. Cool. What are we going to hear? Uh, <coughs> excuse me. Goodness. Uh, I'll probably play a brand new song that uh, will be coming out on a solo record that I'm going to do here in, uh, at the end of the year. Um, it's uh, called Moonshiner's Lament, cool. and I wrote it with a friend of mine, Aaron Bentley. All right. I like it already. Nice. All right. Rob Redwine. You can go to robredwinemusic.com, mm -hmm. correct, and pick up his new album, One Bullet Left. There's a picture on the wall from the time that we were free When life was so much easier for Uncle Joe and me And it's black and it's white and it's faded over time Back in the days when the gas cost a dime Well that picture in the frame tells the story of a town Busier and lively till the markets all came down and the station in the back that was on a county road Well that was washed away when the creeks had overflowed It was a time of prohibition and forgotten inhibitions Just two poor ass kids beneath the stars Making moonshine that was better all than any mountain setter Legging cases filled with mason jars Case of whiskey in the picture where I once broke the glass When I tripped on a rock in the Kentucky bluegrass We would work all day until the sun had faded down With hands busted up from putting stills into the ground Well we drive down Johnson Road in an old Model T With cases in the back underneath the flannel sheet and would not we stoke the fires underneath our barrel stills And deliver jars of whiskey for a two dollar bill It was a time of prohibition and did I forget to mention Just two poor old kids beneath the stars Making moonshine that was better all than any mountain setter With legging cases filled with mason jars And we made a little cash And it was just enough to get by 
So I'm just remembering the picture, just two kids without scripture, when they were selling stills of moonshine.